In this video, we're gonna find out what's back there in those Chinese drift tunnels. And we punched into a new lair that's promising that has a whole bunch of gold in it. All that and a whole lot more coming up. Oh man, you guys feel like doing a little exploring? Hmm? I know I do, but you're gonna have to wait. Hold on, let me turn this off so I don't blind you. There you go. You're gonna have to wait, boy, so I can eat my pork and beans. Mmm. Um. Yeah. Why do they call them pork and beans, huh? All it is is beans and a little piece of fat. It's not pork and beans. What's that all about? You want some, boy? Huh? You want some of these? Mmm. Man, those are good. Tell you what, I can see why the miners lived on them. All right. Like I said, we're gonna go be going back there into that drift mine. And then we're gonna go back into those old Chinese diggings and we're gonna explore them today. And I got a bonus treat for you too, sonny boy. What's that you ask? Right here's what I'm talking about, son. Now while we were expanding or widening one of our drifts so that the skip car could ride through because it kept catching, we noticed this interesting red layer. We didn't think much of it. Ooh, look at that. Now look at all this red soil in there. You see that? Tons of iron in it. But that's not what I'm looking at. This little pocket right here. Look at that. There's a red soil right there. It's got a lot of iron in it. But then there's this juicy rich pocket right here of gravel. Mm, what do you think about that boy, huh? Now we didn't think much of it when we first broke into it. But we brought the Gold Monster 1000 down here and Target started screaming off. So I figured wouldn't it be fun if we dug it together, huh? Wouldn't that be fun? That's what I thought too. But first we're gonna go back there and check out those old Chinese diggings, huh? Now for a lot of you that saw my last video, you were having fun with me, weren't you boy? Talking about my sweater. Hello, it's for you. Bill Cosby wants a sweater. Well, I like that sweater. It was cold out and it's a nice sweater. I think it looks good on me. So, <laughs> stop poking fun at me, boys. All right, enough jaw jacking. Let's get on back there and see what we can find. Cause I know you want to know, so do I. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? Woo, yeah, you better, boy. So come on. I never did. Let's go. All right. I'm hearing noises again. But hopefully it's just in my head. All right, I got some extra lights too. I'm gonna bring those down there, light everything up. Cause I wanna see. And I know you wanna see. Hmm. All right, let's get on in there, boy. Let's get on, getting it on. So let's get it on. Smells musty. Alright. There's that Chinese drip. If that's where I was finding that gold. You can see it's all nice and red in there. Looks like some screen or some kind of bed. There's a can. Mm. 
more cans. You know, now that I think about it, this looks more like a classifier than anything. And an old ladder. And a cable. And a whole bunch of wood that's falling down in here. This is what I'm more interested in right here. All these beautiful layers. And then down there. That looks like dynamite fuse maybe down there. Right there. Some more cans. All right, let's see if we can get some. Oh, there's my drilling rod right there. See that? All right. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know what the heck that is. An old vent pipe right there. It's an old vent pipe. A broken ladder. Yeah, that definitely looks like a classifier of some kind. All right, let's see if we can get the regular camera in here and light this up. Yeah. You know, I wish they made knee pads that would stay on your knees. Yeah, that feels so much better. All right, Sonny Jim, we're going to get some light down there. See what's going on. What's going on? Uh, uh, there's more crystals. Look at that. Crystals everywhere. Uh, well, if you're claustrophobic, this is not the place to be right now, sonny boy. Uh, Cause this will test your metal. Well, you can see all the pick marks in the walls where they were digging. Uh, that's gotta be a good 25, 25 feet. All right, let's get these lights strung up so I can see what I'm doing in here. All right, now we're at the very bottom of the shaft. And I got this little drift that's coming off the bottom. It's just barely big enough to squeeze into. Uh. All right. Oh yeah, that looks really good down here. You can see a big zone of red down here. Come here, take a look at this boy. All right, I got this red seam up here on the ceiling, on the back. Then I got this clay seam here. Then it looks like a hard pack there. And then at the very bottom, I got that super dark red zone right there. See that? Right in there. Look at that. Right in there. That's where that last piece of chunky, chunky monkey came from, boy. It's all deep red. Oh, that's real good looking too. Not much room in here. Gonna have to expand this out. But you can see that dark, dark band of it right there. Right where my finger is. That's all super dark red and it's sitting on top of this really, really hard caliche. Like a false bedrock. All right, there's that, what looks like a classifier screen. There's a cable, vent pipe, and then that looks like the top there, they sealed it off. All right, now we've already pretty much found the entrance to this shaft. We were up on the surface looking around. We used compasses and of course we measured out the distance and it's a no brainer. There's a depression there and it, it looked like an outhouse used to sit there, but I think it's the entrance to this shaft. It'll be a no brainer to actually poke through and, and connect it. So the, the question is, is how much of that overburden and topsoil is between there and there. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad once we open this up. Now what I would like to do is put a full size shaft in here. That way we can bring out two, three times more material faster. I think it's a good idea. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about that idea, boy. Huh? And then we'll use this as our haulage drift right here. And I think it'll be a lot easier. We can haul out 
twice, maybe three times the amount of material per day what we get out of here now, which more material means what? More gold, that's what that means. And that's what it's all about. Look at there's crystals. Look at this. Crystals everywhere, all up in the walls. Just solid seam of it. All right, sonny boy. Now let's head on back to the other side because I want to know what's making my detector go beep beep. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? Oh, you better. So come on, let's go. Oh, who needs a gym, sonny boy? Just be a gold miner. If you remember last time, the side rib of the drift was here and we wanted to widen it out because the skip kept catching up on this side. So what did we do? We blew out this whole side. And what did we find? Well, <laughs> we started finding some nice stuff. Come here, look at it, boy. We're using a Gold Monster 1000 down here. Seems to do real good on these little nuggets. Problem is, there's too much metal down here. Rail, electrical. They're still getting something. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take the jackhammer. I'm gonna blow this out even wider because the metal rail is interfering with my metal detector. I already got a target signal in there. I just want to open this thing up. And it's a lot easier with a jackhammer than it is with me just picking away at it. So that's what we're going to do. Sound good to you, boy? It better. Ooh, where's my gun at? Ooh. <laughs> all right, we're using an extreme power jackhammer. These things are fantastic in cutting through all this caliche. And they're not that expensive. You can find them online for a couple hundred bucks. So I tell you what, and they, they stack up right there with the Makitas and the rest of them. I love this thing. I cut through this in no time. And that's what I'm going to do now, boy. Just watch me. Who needs a gym, boy? Just be a gold miner. Look at that conglomerate, boy. See that? Round river rock. I even got sandstone in there. You know that. Come on. All right, let's get that detector out and find out what's going on. And I'm getting a wobble pop, too. You know what a wobble pop is. You should, boy, if you're ever going to get one of these. See that? Let's try the detector again. I hear it in there, I just can't find it. Yeah, after I tap it. 
Always check your other hand. I don't see nothing. All right, take a look at this. See if I can. I don't see nothing. Let me check. Yeah, that's it. You see anything in there, boy? I'll right, take a look. Oh, there it is right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right there. See that? I don't know if you can see that. I can barely see a glint of gold coming through on it. Right there. Let me check. Yep, that's it. Look at that marker. Ooh, it's a little baby one. Little tiny baby. It's just a baby. Oh, he's just a baby. You know where he's going, right? That's right. Right in there. <laughs> Oh, this one tastes salty. <clears throat> Look at that monker. Oh, that's a different looking one. It's all black. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get some light in on it. Look at that thing. That's black. That's like a peg leg gold nugget. Oh, yeah! That's weird. I wonder why it's black. Huh. Might have some manganese oxide on it. That's unusual. That's a different booger right there. Gold is gold though, I'll take it. I got this beautiful little pocket. Now, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out this entire pocket, clean it up and put it in this bag. Along with this chunky piece of gold. And then what are we gonna do? Then I'm gonna give it away. What do you think about that boy, huh? Ooh, I know there's more in there too. A whole bunch of fines, I bet. You know there's a whole bunch of fines locked up in there too. Could be an ounce. Now I know you're thinking, Jeff, have you done lost your mind? No. That's my way of saying thank you to all my premium patrons for helping us keep the dream alive. Because without them, none of this drift mine would be possible. So I'm going to give it to them. What do you think about that, boy? And you know what? I think we're going to start punching a drift this way too. I know, right? Three drifts, three separate gold pockets. Ooh, who couldn't ask for better than that, boy? Oh, 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 beans are coming out. Uh, uh. All right, where was I? Our premium patrons are responsible for keeping the dream alive, which means keeping this drift mine going. Not only that, but they have access to our latest book, Where to Find Gold by Jeff and Slim. It's got fantastic graphics in over 30 years. Experience packed in that booger. And they're also eligible to come out on our three day gold mining adventures on our world famous claims where people have found ounces of gold. Some one ounce plus nuggets. Whew. Ah. Ah. Plus they get all the gold that comes out of this drift mine. Just our way of saying thank you for all their support. And this seems like something you want to be a part in. It's real easy. All you gotta do is look at look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks like that. Click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flynn. Huh? And not only that, but we also give away metal detectors too yeah! for it. And I tell you what, for 10 bucks you can't beat that. Not even with a stick. Anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here. I got plenty of nuggets to dig up so I can give them away. Maybe uh, make a run back to the honey pot. Now before I get out of here, I want to give a special shout out to Doc over at Doc's Detective. He supplies us with all the stuff we use to get the, the shiny out of here. All these new scoops that have the little riffles in them, these are fantastic. I guarantee you, once you use one, you're not gonna want anything else. And these little pick hammers right here for out in the field, they work good down here too. They got a neodymium magnet in the head, they come in different sizes. 
And not only that, he's got a whole warehouse full of stuff you're going to like. I'll leave a link down below. Super nice guy. I've known him for years. Go check him out, would you? Now, before I get out of here, I got one more surprise for you. I know, right? I'm just full of them. <laughs> Surprises, that is. Come on now. We're thinking about pulling up this conduit pipe that we're using for track and bring in some actual track from the gold mines, some narrow gauge, and bring some carts in here. What do you think about that? Wouldn't that be cool? The real deal down here, boy. That's what I thought. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think about that idea. Because we got tons and tons of that old narrow gauge rail just sitting around doing nothing. What do you think about that? Huh? Huh? And if you're real good, maybe next year we just might bring some premium patrons down in here to the drift mine. Work a day. Keep all you can haul out. What do you think about that, boy? Huh? <laughs> if that don't get you excited, nothing will. And don't forget, when we reach 200,000 subscribers, we're giving away 200 bags of pay dirt. Man, I tell you what. You want gold, boy? You got it. How do you like them beans, boy? Huh? <laughs> Almost time to run back to the honey pot. All right, well, I'm going to get on out of here because I'm going to blow all this whole section out. And it takes a lot to muck this out. Five-gallon buckets at a time. That's why we want to open up a new shaft so we can actually run full-size carts in here. Because the five-gallon bucket deal, is it's killing me. It's killing me, boy! Anyway, until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who? A drift mine full of gold, that's who. Saying you like big nuggets, well, we do too. Sign up as a premium patron and you might get a bag of AU. Take care, everybody! <laughs>